What's going on, people? We are back with another reaction. Hello, hello, hello. What's going on? I did a really good intro, everyone. I did a, I did a really good intro. It was... A really good intro. I'm just saying yeah. it might be the best intro I've ever done in my life. It definitely just... was the best, and everybody missed it because it despawned. So next nope. time despawn gives you guys sass, remember. You were, right. you... I've got some Never bad news. news. Yeah. I accidentally think I shot the wrong... Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I'm fine. What's I'm fine. your timer? No bad, no bad news. Uh, 51, 50, 49, 48... 47. Yeah. Are you going to stop me at any point? Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for Despawn to respond. <laughs> uh, guys, do me a favor. Everybody that is in the live chats right now, go onto your Twitter accounts. Go and hit the like, retweet, and engage with our tweets if you possibly, possibly can. Let's help share this content. Let's try and get as many people as we can watching this. Still can't hear Despawn, apparently. Despawn, apparently yeah, you they cannot can't hear us. I bet you can hear me now, though. I bet you can hear him now, though. I bet you can hear him now. Well, there you go. Well, we're still, you know... Still <laughs> Early days, isn't it? Early days, isn't it? Still shit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, <laughs> New Year, same old shit show, right? <laughs> Um, we do apologize. Like I said, make sure you go like and retweet all the content uh, over on X slash Twitter. Um, again, engaging with the content as well. I don't care if it's literally every tweet that we do. I don't care if you just put an emoji or can't wait or whatever. It helps so much more than you'd imagine. Trust me. So much more. But yeah, we're here. We are, here. Direct are you excited? Ooh, so excited. Indiana Jones, yeah. baby. I'm making hand gestures. Yeah, one, of, one of three <laughs> people excited. No, I did see me getting a little bit of. Uh, you did, yeah. Saying that Indiana Jones is for old people. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm old people, so it's fine. Do we? Do you? Do you actually think Indiana Jones is for old people or not? Um, or am I, being, am I being a bit too mean? No, a little bit mean, but you know, so it's kind of warranted. Well, it, it, it's it's relative to what you consider old, right? Yeah. What do you consider old? And this is where you insult me massively. I consider anybody yeah. 25 and older old. I'm old. Fair. Okay. Okay. Wait, 25? Yeah, 25 and old. I consider that old. I'm not talking like old man old, but I consider it old. I don't think you're young at that point. When you're talking about like media and what's hot right now, I don't consider that young. Okay, okay. That's 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 true. To be like That's where my point, mind's but... going. That's when I like when we talk about it in that regards, that's where my mind goes. No, yeah. I agree with you on that. It, like if you're you're trying to be a part of like the the the, the it thing now. Cold, yeah, 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 yeah. Anything older than oh, mate, you're right. When anything older than twenty five, you're kind of you got you have your nostalgia and the things you like set in stone at that point. Yeah, you're yeah. not sort of uh, you're not as influenced by like what's hot in the culture. Like you are to a degree, mm. it just won't define you from that point forward. In my yeah. point of view, I'm I'm with Crash. Like I think your like your obsessions and your tastes are kind of a like set in stone by the time in your twenties. Uh, yeah. 25 is definitely that age of like, yeah, like I know what I like now. I don't need new shiny things. I'll look for new shiny things and see if they hit the dizzying highs of Indiana Jones, but they never do. Yeah, Indiana Jones was never... I'm really excited to see the game. Really <laughs> excited. Don't get me wrong. And I'm sure if any if any game studio out there can get me excited about a series I don't care about, it's Machine Games. You know, I didn't sure, care about yeah. and I still played that. Um, just because yeah. of its sheer mechanics that are amazing. And I think we all agree with Ben that Crush is... Crush, I know you saw the comment. I, I know you saw the comment 100%. You were in the middle of talking. I couldn't, couldn't talk about the comment, you know? <laughs> Crush is decrepit. Yep, we, we agree. We agree. What does that uh, make the both of you? Uh, dust. Bro. If I, so, I am... I, I, so, in the so in the pod... Wait, are you the youngest on the podcast now, Crush, or is, is Matt? Uh, That's a good question. I don't know. It's between me and Matt for sure, right? Mm -hmm. So, Eastbourne's the granddad. Mm -hmm. I'm yeah. the dad. Yeah, one, yeah. one of you two are the so, middle child, one of you so, the baby. So I'm yeah. Sean Connery. Uh, you're Harrison Ford. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Crash is uh, Shia LaBeouf, and Matt okay. is uh, Short Round. Which one's the monkey? There's a monkey. Uh, oh, the monkey dies. Don't, don't worry about it. 
Spoilers, by the way. Match wow. the monkey, yeah. Well, yeah. I'm not gonna feel safe around any monkeys I see in this trailer now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Um, so what I want to quickly say is, again, if you are watching live on Twitch, uh, we have had our emotes rejected. I'm sorry. Uh, I am working on getting the same emotes, but with a little bit of a twist. Um, we tried to do the uh, buttons, but if you do want to use the emotes still, you can head over to um, <clears throat> you can head over to YouTube memberships and <laughs> you can all use the emotes there. They're right there. Yeah. Uh, so I guess there'll be a I guess there'll be a YouTube. I guess that's kind of cool though. The members will have separate emotes to to Twitch. Mm -hmm. It wasn't by design. I will, no, I will no. admit it wasn't by design, uh, but it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Um, uh, just before yeah. we uh, we do the fight, like we go full in, we got like ten minutes yet. So I'm just gonna yeah. test. Can you all still hear us? Can you have you uh, got the sound on the video as well, just so people can hear that? Make sure you got levels and stuff. Yeah, uh, they should hear like clicking and typing if you have the audio playing for the. For the developer oh, direct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can hear that. Oh, let me turn the it's like a humming off. noise and then some and then some clicking. So let Despawn know if you can hear it and stuff like that. Yes. Alder Slayer, yeah. thank you very much for the prime gaming. We appreciate that over on Twitch. Uh we are currently we've got goal set. I don't want to say too mm -hmm. much for what we have, but we have goal set uh internally and we're gonna be doing a big, 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 big thing for our twelve hour stream. And I'm just saying, some of the goals that we got set and some of the projects we're working on are going to be a lot, a lot of fun if we hit the goals. Yeah. Just, just, just say ridiculous. They're going to be ridiculous. Well, one of them, I'm spoiler. <laughs> one of them, is, one of them is a pajama pie. So that is pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super looking forward. I'm, I'm, bro, I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Much as I've not been, I haven't been able to stream as much as I've wanted to, of for obvious reasons with the move and stuff like that, but. I'm super excited right now, man. We've started yeah. the year really strong. We've got a developer direct right now. Um, I'm assuming PlayStation will do something relatively soon. Mm -hmm. We've got Switch mm -hmm. 2 coming this year, we assume. Yeah. I'm going to buy Oculus Quest soon, number three. Like, the the world's out awesome, boys, when it comes to with gaming. I was, in my, I was in my office today, I, moving the wardrobe. direct like this, don't mind me. Imagine, imagine. <laughs> Ready to go. <laughs> I was um in the studio today, and I was just, like, looking around. I was just like... Damn, if I can get this how I actually want it to be, mm -hmm. this is going to be a really cool place to create content, man. So oh, uh, mate. there's yeah. nothing better than having like a little, your own little space that you can build in your own little way. Like I'm, I'm the same yeah. with you. Like I've still got plans for this room, and when I finish yeah. it, like, I'm going to be so happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited, super yeah. excited. But wait, what's the one thing that you are the most excited for at this developer direct? A release date for something. Okay, just a release date. On uh, to be fair, at this point, like we, I've been like, I've been overly hyped about all the stuff that Xbox are doing recently, and I'd be like, I can't wait for this. I can't wait for that. Yeah. None of it has a release date. I just want a release date for something so I can look, put it in my calendar. And all right, on this day, I will be playing an Xbox possibly exclusive that uh, yeah, I will be able to sink my teeth into because every game that they're announcing today or showing off today, as far as I'm aware, is going to be a big AAA title. Indiana Jones going to be a AAA title. Avowed AAA title, yep. Hellblade. The ba the way that they've been selling it for the last four years, AAA title. Yep. Um, Ara. Uh, again, we talked about it. It's not really a game that's my cup of tea, but for those RTS fans and uh, like Godlikes, it looks like it's going to be a big one of those. Yeah. And I've been hearing talk that there's another secret fifth game that they're announcing today or talking about. Ooh, whoa, whoa, where's these rumors come from? I don't know. I've just been like, in, not online, no, just like like in discords, people are talking like, I've heard there's a fifth game. I've heard Discord? there's a fifth game. In, what? <laughs> my uncle owns Nintendo in discords. We, yeah, yeah. We, I mean, we, we I'm in the discord with your uncle in, Ninten in Nintendo. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh wow. Wait, you didn't tell me about that. Wait, yeah, we, we, yeah, we just, we just, we just spend most of our time just talking about you. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but no, I am, um, I am, like I said, I'm super excited. Can't wait. Yeah, me too. Crash, <laughs> what's, the, what's the one thing you're most excited for? Probably of everything they have slated avowed. Ooh. But I think I'm kind of with Despawn just to get dates on stuff and see sort of like... Because it's kind of hard to predict what Xbox's like plan is in the future when you have no dates for anything they have released. Yeah. So just getting a couple of dates on the board I think would be really nice. I think setting up this year for Xbox is... This is going to set up Xbox really well for this year, right? Like... If we can get dates for everything they're showing today, 
and we assume, and I think it's a safe assumption, that all of these games are going to be coming out this year as well. Mm -hmm. Would you be... Here's the question. Would you be happy if this is Xbox's slate of games? If this is it, this is all we're going to be getting this year is going to be Avowed, um, uh, Hellblade, uh, Indiana Jones. Well, some I'm missing. I'm missing one more, right? Uh, uh, Ara. Ara or whatever. No, I'm, yeah. not thinking, I'm not thinking that's not, that's not first part. Uh, so, those, those Hellblade, Indy, um, yeah. And Avowed. So Vowed. those are the three, the three first party games, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Would you guys be satisfied, satisfied from Xbox's point of view if that's it for Xbox, um, one, what's it? Four quarters. So maybe we get one more. I gotta say, then... I would say I would want one more. Like for them to just be like, yeah, this is our every quarter AAA title. I would want mm -hmm. one more. Uh, I see Stead in the comments saying that Flight Sim Twenty Four is to confirmed for this year as well. Okay. Um, yeah. so, so I that, guess you could count that. That, that could count. To be fair, yeah. if um, if they don't do a last uh, Flight Sim where it's it takes like six months to a, a year or wherever it was to come to consoles because it was a PC only thing at first. It still counts though. It still, still counts. Xbox, it's, still but it, but it, counts, it counts it as a technicality. I mean, Xbox is, we've seen, uh, we'll talk about it on the <laughs> Xbox is all about technicalities. Uh, Xbox is now a publisher anyway, so who, mm. who cares? Yeah, yeah you just gotta way. count where they publish, you know? <laughs> <laughs> who cares? We'll talk about that again. I guess we've recorded um, this week already, right? Yeah, so it'll be next week. Maybe, we'll just, maybe we will just go on it. Maybe on Sunday. We'll see. We'll see. If we got time. Um, maybe, maybe my Xbox and me extra, extra. Extra? Read all about it. No, that's the one we have to do after the extra. extra. Oh, okay. So we do X, so Xbox yeah, extra. We could do. Extra, extra. To be fair, I know, again, we're kind of organizing on the on the show right now. Oh. What we could do is we could just record a segment and insert it into the podcast, into extra, so we don't have to miss oh. it. It's actually yeah. not the worst idea because that doesn't come out till Sunday anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's not a. We'll chat after the... We'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. We'll talk. Yeah. I tell you what, my people will talk to your people, okay? Okay. Well, Haley, uh, uh, contact uh, me directly because I have no people. Yeah, I've got, I mean, Mrs. Despawn <laughs> has no interest in anything I do yeah. on this podcast, so, yeah, you'll just be talking uh, to me. Yo, how's the Mrs. been, Despawn, in terms of, like, since you've started to do all this, I'm sure I've taken you away from... We've taken you, you away from her a lot more than maybe beforehand. How, how is it? She's good. Like, it's fine. You've got to remember, though, like, I've replaced my own content pretty much with yeah. my Xbox and me. So mm -hmm. I'm not really taking away a lot of extra time. There's, like, those other couple of days extra where we've got, like, something like this. Uh, yeah. Where we're like, all right, well, we need to plan for it. We need to be ready in advance and stuff like that. But, like, no, it's been pretty good. Uh, it's been good this week as well because it's our birthdays. So, yeah. like, I've been making sure that I spend enough time just to, like, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing the husbandly thing. I'm like, I will pick out a day and we will definitely spend it together. And I'll spend too much money on you. And then you can't yeah. hate me for that day mm -hmm. and it's going to mm -hmm. be okay but, yeah. day. I know so, that one way too well yeah. uh, we're looking at two minutes or what two minutes and 41 seconds uh, until the developer direct starts I am I'm I, I'm hoping for oh, man, imagine we get State of Decay 3 shown here don't don't it's been too long I want it imagine we get State of Decay shown right here that would be dope that would be dope like a gameplay look you want to you want to know something yes, amazing <laughs> at mm -hmm. this point I'll take anything <laughs> You want to know something amazing? I think if State of Decay is shown here, uh, it doesn't change my opinion of the year for negative or better at all. In the grand wow. scheme of things. It does if it comes out this year for me. That'd yeah. be that'd be big. For me, that again, I understand like to you it's not a big game, but if they can if again, if they turn it into the triple A game that I am hoping it will be, because considering the amount of time it's taken this for them so far, that's that's all I can really hope for. But mm -hmm. we will have to you want to say the K2 draw? Uh, We've got one minute and forty to find out. Um, please chat. Tell us real quickly, please. Please. Uh, again, guys, if you do have Amazon Prime, make sure you use it. Uh, obviously, avoiding uh, ads on Twitch. And if you're over on YouTube, make sure you hit the like button and consider becoming a YouTube member. Uh, uh, it's been, uh, it's been 2018. Six years. Six yeah. years. Yeah, May twenty second, twenty eighteen. That's not that long, if we're gonna be honest. Six years for develop. I mean, if oh, they go for the AAA, games games take long to develop. No, 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 no. Okay, let me say it like this. Let me say it like this. If we are expecting a AAA fresh start, mm -hmm. first day of decay, which we know it's free, but you know what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, yeah. 
then yes, I totally agree with you. But if it's just a continuation of what we've already gotten, then six years six is a years hell of a long time. All right, we're looking at 50 seconds here, boys. 50 oh. seconds. Oh, man, here we go. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I, so while, while we're in the read-off, I said this on um, on Twitter earlier today, RX, whatever. Um, like, I know we always talk about, like, tempering expectations, but this is, like, oh. the first thing Xbox are showing this year properly. I'm kind of hyped. I'm not going to lie. Fair enough. London Cheese and says... At least London Cheesehead says, I hope we get the next Forza game soon. That soon studio's working on Fable. Well, did they split into a separate studio for that part? Haven't got a clue. I'll be honest with you. <gasps> 10 seconds. Here we go. 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 Grab your snacks. We're going I've got in. jelly babies. I've got jelly babies. I got hot chocolate. <gasps> Make contain appropriate. Inappro content inappropriate for children. 18. Kids, Ooh. close your eyes. Close your eyes. Is it with the rest of the 18 logo? I think Capcom. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> Let me know what levels are for everyone. Four unique games. Didn't they say that last time and then change it to a five? Maybe. Coming to Xbox. I'm in to Xbox. I'm All right, say that the G at the end of that looks like a six. <laughs> so expect six games. Mm -hmm. 46 <laughs> games coming. Let's go. Man. I do like the presentation for these. A I, lot. Yeah, they are really good. Yeah. Oh, oh, I thought it was kicking off with Hellblade there. Wait. Oh, no. This is, that's where this, I thought there was going to be a little fifth there. It's like. Did they move the 24 and put a fifth game in? <gasps> Straight into the end. Okay, here we go. go. Here we go. Here we go. Welcome to Obsidian Entertainment. To Obsidian I'm Entertainment. so proud to share I'm with you so our proud to share with you our action upcoming RPG fantasy action Avowed. RPG, Avowed. Avowed is an adventure Avowed into the heart of Look at that water place. crash. A frontier Fix, at the I edge think. of the known world. Where you must the game's put a stop audio is coming. The yeah, yeah audio you're, you're getting your audio is coming through. Discover a secret okay, well, that's at the heart of the living lands. <clears throat> at Obsidian, we love creating worlds with deep themes, dynamic gameplay, and thoughtful reactivity. And Avowed is no different. I know we're good now. We set out to blend uh, the believable and fantastic. Cool, if you just stay muted, that's perfect. A world and experience <laughs> like no other. It's colorful, it's vibrant, it's strange. It's one of the most incredible Show us settings in the world. Water looks nice. Fix was right. I mean, I wouldn't swim in it, but it looks nice. Discover, one of no, absolutely really not. You're going to have to swim in it in the game, though. Oh, man. And you're going to have a great time getting to know those Secretly secrets gives you the best buff in the game. Mark on the world. Imagine. And when it comes to encounters, we good now? our combat brings the best yes. of yes. the moment-to-moment -moment fun okay. that comes with action-oriented gameplay okay. and the depth and breadth of choice that you get with an RPG. Okay. Maybe a wizard. Here to talk more about Avowed's combat is Gabriel Paramo, gameplay Game director. Game looks pretty. Here at Obsidian, our team's overarching goal is to empower you with choice. Yeah. So we developed a flexible combat system that allows you to quickly swap from spell casting and sharpshooting to melee combat. We want to give you oh, like the freedom that. to mix and match your yeah. loadout to fit the way you want to play one? from moment to moment, yeah. Yeah. uninterrupted. For okay. All battles, you can combine a variety of weapons, Ooh, okay. attacks, Wait, and so I can have a wand and a blunderbuss? Let's a go. a wide range of enemy types. It's not just hacking. I want to explain something want. You're making real-time decisions yeah. about when to use your abilities. But I know nothing. I know next to nothing attacks, about Close of Eternity, to be honest. Harry's yeah, true. And special attacks. Okay. Just saying, suck it, Harry Potter. If you choose to approach combat with a one-handed wand, it feels quick and snappy when dealing damage to enemies at mid-range. Using look the Tangle cool. ability to stop cool. enemies in their tracks, giving you the opportunity to focus on weaker or tougher combatants in an intentional and controlled manner. It's important to pay attention to the types of enemies you're dealing with. Some units are extremely defensive, some are brutishly difficult, and others you must make sure you prioritize or their healing capabilities will put you in a tough spot. 
Oh, you know what? To help with the different encounters. I do like the art style quite a lot, actually. Yeah. That can be quickly switched during combat. Wait, was that the actual God of War? However you want. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, 100%. God of War, I'll get you what's confirmed. Coping counter mid-range. Or even dual wield wands to feel like a that was a companion next year. You could use your enchanted like wand that, yeah. to freeze enemies, and then use your offhand weapons power attack to shatter them. We oh, that was cool. I like, you I like, I like the mix and match stuff by creating yeah, yeah. a balance between pressure and manageability during combat. Players will have ample choices for how to build and progress their envoy in the world of the Living Lands as they get to know the game and the story and explore the many diverse regions. Some quests in Avowed will have you make difficult decisions with profound Jojo, consequences. Jojo, double ones. Like this side quest, you may encounter <gasps> Imagine. the Sharpscarp, the third region you'll explore they use double on the journey through the Living Lands. <laughs> as you're exploring, you come across the bodies of these fallen soldiers. And as you explore it. the remains of the battle, it's up to you to determine who, if anyone, is at fault. Just a... It was him! He did it! Manu, Kiri, Naoki, and me. Training under Captain Ruiki. I don't love his face, I'm gonna be honest. In other words, yeah. you're a mm. gang of vigilantes. Not that I'm Looks a bit clay. Here. Take my badge. Maybe that's the purpose, Take you know. Ones. No, it, it definitely is an art style choice, but yeah. Making the right choice isn't always what it seems. We embrace moral nuance and gray areas, trusting players to make tough my decisions favorite kind of areas. in complicated situations. <laughs> my, my squad and I rested in the cave by the water last it was night, him. and as we were sleeping, we were ambushed by those miserable Zorips. We were ambushed? I was so surprised and oh my god! It was so dark. I just got separated from everyone else. Look, I, I, I can't face those monsters alone, but I have to know if anyone else made it out. Of course he did. Sergeant Asui never has a thought he won't say out loud. So what did he tell you? It's this you guy. did that sure. Captain Ruiki was sick? That I was paranoid? That I was a dumb baby? I heard it all often and loudly. Wait, if you found Sergeant Asui, why is he not here with you? What happened? At the end of the quest, you have a choice. When you confront Private Naoki, if you believe the story he's told you, you can hand over the badges Conversation and history, let I like him that. go back home. Mm -hmm. You're right. Real battle isn't something you can prepare for, is it? It's not my fault. No, they, they should have never have camped in the cave. I'll take the badges. I'm going back to Thirdborn. But if you confront him, if you believe that he fled the site of the battle as an act of cowardice, then he might challenge you to a fight to reclaim his honor. And he will Either lose. way, when you return to town, you'll see the consequences of your actions and the choices you made during this quest. Creating uh, will a immersive experience like Avowed is anchored in the world. I've heard that one before. Art director Matt Hansen and the team yeah. have worked to create a unique, colorful, and dynamic visual style. I don't know. I believe Obsidian will we'll give you it. We knew that we wanted Avowed. Yeah, I believe it when I see it and play it myself. Rich, true, weird, true. and wonderful. We found inspiration in a wide swath of real-world cultures, helping us create a unique RPG experience by contrasting the vibrant with the dull. <laughs> Or verdant spaces with sickly ones, we can better. I'm loving all the different areas. Emotional experiences yeah. for our players. Well, the they all look very unique. Not even boring of as well, which is good. Valleys with widely varied biomes, from luxuriant forests to volcanic. Yeah, woods. the art. The each of those regions a itself job on it. is a conflux of storied landscapes. Yeah, no, I agree. All of the regions so, um, have a lot of special things. Very purposeful, right? Them. Like everything mm -hmm. feels like it has a purpose, in my heart which is yeah, yeah. good to say. As you're wandering the wastes of Shatterscarp, you might notice off in the distance a vibrant jewel of color. By this is exactly what I loved about Fallout and what I wanted in Starfield, of a which was like, of sand, come to an area, in see something off in the distance oasis. and just go for it. There's yeah. the opportunity there for life, for adventure, and even a little danger. I hate to say and one game has ruined another, but I think like, Zelda ruined that for a lot of like months, explorative RPGs explore of being able to see something in the distance like right I'm gonna go to that this fall. this fall let's go wait okay give me a proper date though I don't think we're gonna get a proper date give me a proper date I don't I don't like this fall yeah Oops, date am I getting what I wanted I like that artwork. That's, That's going to be a desktop nice. background. Just fall 2024. Oh, okay. Fall. Yeah. 
okay. E3, well, not E3, but... <laughs> E3 does you know, not E3. <laughs> the E3 that's not E3 is probably where we get that release date, I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. Could be the November game, then. Yeah, really. Yeah. What's next? Oxide. No, Ninja Theory. Here we go. Ninja Theory. We're well, definitely going to ask. Indy's got to be last then, right? Yeah, I mean, Indy's yeah. going to be the big one, right? I'm sorry, Ninja but Ninja House. House is the coolest name for a house. <laughs> Hi, I'm Don Matthews, studio Sub head here at Ninja Theory in Cambridge, UK. We're now in the final months of development on Senua Saga Hellblade 2. Final months. And the team is working hard to bring you an unforgettable That'd journey be Polish, right? into Senua's yeah. unique yeah. world and her battle for survival, where we have once again combined high fidelity and immersive this game presentation is so great. with a shorter yeah. narrative. Really Every is. time I see it, I'm just like, God damn it. That we really mm -hmm, care mm -hmm. about and that we hope you care about too. Mess him up, Senua. Mess him up! You get a sword! Use it! God damn it, use Senua it! Is back with a new quest. She wants to stop the Vikings who raided her village right at their source in Iceland. I can smell a Game Awards when they're coming. the quest has changed. Senua herself has grown since the first Hellblade. She's made peace with her past and is no longer in such fear of her visions and voices. While the Furies are still her constant companions, she encounters new people along the way. Some of which will value her unique perspective. This is and ridiculous. Others good look at it. So <laughs> honestly, <laughs> this settlement became my tribe. Like, just look at the lighting effect. In it game, looks like a, a light. Intense look CGI movie. It table. looks like a film, right? Yeah. 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 In the story, we're trying to be as faithful to history as we can up to a point. Establishing a solid framework and then building more surreal elements on top. I like the sound of Senua that. Senua face up to giants who have plunged the land into chaos and which in turn has seen the rise of the Joiga, a violent threat that has swept through the settlements that she'll discover. Ooh. Ooh. Senua will yeah. make new enemies and also new allies who will come to see her unique perspective as a beacon of hope. And she'll discover along with us how this viewpoint can have its advantages. Come on. Yo. Senua oh. is a Celtic warrior I want one thing from this game. Psychosis. I want a photo Seeing mode. things that other people don't. Hearing I'll never complete the game. I'll just spend forever. Just everything in the photo mode. Just take a photo. Just take a photo. Yeah, of the world to life in a truthful way. We have once again worked closely with Professor Paul Fletcher at the University of Cambridge as well as people with lived experience of psychosis. What does that mean? I like that. What does that mean? Yeah. It's terrifying. Players will find themselves traversing beautiful and hostile environments, seeking answers from patterns and signs that Senua sees in her own unique way, and battling through encounters with enemies that will push Senua to her limits. On Saga, we've taken everything to the next level. Yeah, this With game's going to be amazing. Space, mm -hmm. A bigger stage yeah. team, a stunt crew and a new cast. We spent a lot of time planning the motion capture shoots, thinking of what events would be good to bring into this fight. Like, how can we make this fight feel different from the previous fight? We have all new combat for the sequel. Oh, that I'd like to hear. Hey. One of our key goals People's was biggest the ability right? to actually mm -hmm. tell a story throughout it. Oh, it does feel very Ow. different from the first game. I look like Ow. that's hurt. very Ow. visceral. And you're very invested in it. Senua oh. isn't a superhero. She's fighting for survival, and we want the player to feel her struggle Get in every me. step of her journey. We you want the my hair. To always feel like they <laughs> just scraped through, just survived it. That game looks so Senua good, man. Better yeah. than anyone, better than I do. Her instincts are amazing, and she really. And this isn't even the last thing we're watching today. On stage, our main focus is story. Might be the best thing we watched today, though. I, I mean, you know, yeah, it might be. It's setting a high places. bar at least. And then I have to wait a little while, and then I get to see that all again in game, in costume, on location, everything. It's it's a great experience, a great process. 
Every discipline in the studio is unified. Look at that lighting. It's so realistic. It's crazy. It's Look so at that good. lighting. It's so good, dude. We were lucky enough to do a few reference wow. gathering trips in Iceland. You have that's, to be That's there, real world. The sense of I don't know. I know. I know what I was for. We saw previously. Not for that. Not for that. I mean, it still looks nice. I still like to visit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, that, that works. That's amazing. Senua experiences reality differently, and a part of this manifesting the voices she hears. She will collapse. She will collapse. These voices come to life through binaural audio, which provides a good representation of this type of auditory hallucinations. As we focus in immersion, uh, binaural audio is perfect for this because through headphones, you surround yourself in a three-dimensional space. In the first game, we only apply to the voices that Senua listens in her head. In this game, through a special audio technology and uh, some extra little things within the game, there is music that is binaural. Every oh. single sound has the potential to be binaural, so everything is oh, specialized for that. around you. Yeah, and it's that's a gonna be very beautiful experience. Yeah. What do we do to Earth? Oh! Do do to Earth? I know I said in the last game, but look at that water! In the sense that it's <laughs> emotions fast and deep. Is that it's our benchmark now? How good's the water? It's about it always has it's been. Always been the benchmark. Always has yeah. been. Always has been. No, it's heavily. <sighs> On the music, we are working with Hailun, which for me is a personal privilege because I really admire them. We oh, I remember this. I love craft, their performance at the Game Awards. Their meaning in the music yeah. it really connects with our game and elevates it to something really special. We are also working with the Heavy Metal Singer, come out, right? Another singers, performance, and the our very own Furies. They if they're out for Game so of the Year. Beautiful. And we had that binaural yeah. touch of music. So this all creates a very immersive and a very special Bro, making a game experience. must be so fun. A lot of work, yeah. but so oh, yeah, fun. Yeah. And finally seeing it all come together. Yeah. yeah. Our mission yeah. here at Ninja Theory is to so, um, changing art with game changing Okay, tech. I think I might do That's it on stream if I can figure it out. I downloaded the VR version of the first Hellblade. Ah, I am so tempted. To, I'm so excited to jump into that. Something really meaningful with a headset on and everything. Have you played the first really Hellblade? Uh, I played a character. lot of it originally, but I never did like the full headphone really experience. What she's so. going through. Maybe okay. they know someone that relates to that character, and they can then When we get a day, I'll better. definitely be uh, playing it in advance well, of that. I don't want to sound cheesy, but in a way, I'm Senua, right? She exists and doesn't. It exists through all of our work, through every ninja. So. We all are Again, how cool is it to call yourself a ninja <laughs> and <laughs> work on this game? <laughs> yeah, I'm a ninja. I'm in a game. Just saying. Growing, I keep changing. Just referring so, to everybody you work with as a ninja. Yeah. He's a ninja. She's a ninja. I'm They're so a ninja. The we're all ninjas. Yeah, we're all ninjas. Our team here at Ninja Theory are putting into several the Saga Hellblade 2. <laughs> our hope is to not only create a game that is great to play, but to craft an experience that leaves you thinking and feeling. From our combat gameplay through to our action set pieces, from our cinematic scenes to our puzzle solving, everything is crafted in service of Senua's journey. I'm a super journey excited. This was a great shine for this game. On May mm -hmm. 21st. May 21st, 21st oh, let's go! Oh, that's not let's far go! off. I mean, it's oh, far off, well, but that's it's me not taking the week off. off. <laughs> Okie dokie, let's go. Let's go. <sighs> let's go. Well, okay. Next. Okay. Yeah, it's got to be right. All right. Oh, yeah. wait, what? Oh, 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 yeah. oh. What is it? Square Enix. You're so far ahead of us. <laughs> no, there was yeah, a little tiny thing. Way. It's because I'm like a second ahead of you. Okay. Interesting. Here we go. It's Final Fantasy VII Remake, folks. Shut yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Shut up. Greetings, Xbox players. <laughs> Greetings. My name is Masa Oyamada. Producer for the Mana Series. Oh, it's the Mana Series. Okay. Square uh, Enix. Okay. Okay. Seiken Densetsu Visions of Mana no jokho wo Xbox user no minasan ni ichi hayaku otsutai dekiru kikai o itadakete. Visions of Mana. Taihan right. koei desu. Console game to shite wa yaku 17 nen bunu tonaru. Not as excited as I thought. Seiken Densetsu Visions of Mana. Seiken Densetsu Visions of Mana. They might announce more. I, honestly, I think this is huge for Xbox. Yeah, oh yeah. Like Square Enix working sure with them properly again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Mana series is like a huge series back in the day. Yeah. 
心に響く楽曲の数々武器の特性を生かして戦うアクション RPG としてこれまでに17作発売され長らく愛されてきました本作は30年以上の歴史あるシリーズの最新作となるためこれまで培われてきた聖剣伝説としての世界をしっかり感じられるものを目指して鋭意制作中です I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox Day and Day. I'm glad this comes to Xbox すでにイメージができていたものもあります。今作では、はじめはドット絵からスタートしたモンスターたちをどのような形で最新化して、聖剣伝説、ビジョンズオブマナに落とし込むか、デザインの方向から、<笑>ーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーーー
Yeah, yeah, I agree. I don't know what I, don't know what I had in my head for this game to look like. Uh, when I announced it, I wasn't that excited. Now seeing it, it looks a lot better. Is it funny how it's an action RPG? That it's yeah, kind of probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they've shown bursts of gameplay where it's an action RPG. I just don't think it's ever looked as good as like it has in this showing. Yeah. 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 Man, I wish I was half as cool as this guy. I was I was just about to make a comment on the dude's trip. It's like a 10 out of a 10 for developers. Mm -hmm. I prefer this guy. You do? You like yeah. your math features? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Fair, fair. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair, fair. Mm -hmm. fair. Mm -hmm. fair. Mm -hmm. This summer? Do you know what I like about what they've done here with Square? They haven't Americanized it. Yes. Yeah, they've just gone square as they've square. Gone, they've gone, you, you guys are Japanese. I believe mm -hmm. Japanese, I could be mistaken. Yeah. Um, do you. <laughs> don't yeah. try speaking English. Don't try and not be something that you're not being authentically you yeah, about yeah. what you want to show. I actually quite like that. Have a translator. No translator, uh, no yeah. nothing. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, outside time. Can we get another uh, secret announcement? So. Or is that it? I don't think, I think that might be it. I'm hoping for one more. But yeah. I think either one more or a very long showing for Indiana Jones. I think one or the other. Hello, and welcome to Oxide Games. Hello. We founded the studio in 2013 with our decades of personal experience. This one, they can't hear you. Some of the most beloved oh. strategy games of all time. <laughs> Like civil but they can body. feel me, right? We came together to you create something. To everyone. I don't think so. I'm on the screen so far. It, it's you know, it's the thought that counts. Our history untold mm -hmm, is the game mm -hmm. we've dreamt of making. Ara is an homage to historical gamers, strategy gamers, to old gamers, they go. gamers. It features all the depth and gameplay gamers. fans of this genre love, where you'll explore the world. You're right, Trick. I am a polite boy. Govern your people. <laughs> gamers who can only fan for X shirts. This isn't just more of the same. With Ara, we wanted I feel to challenge some of the preconceived notions about the genre. I finally feel seen as a white fat boy who plays games. And truly compelling yeah. and approachable way. Somebody cares. For example, we have over Bad 100 time. instruments on display in the office, which are all things that we purchased in order to... Sick of all these thin white boys getting the spotlight. And exactly. Expand the game and make it really good. <laughs> Hi, Dan. <laughs> That's Dan. We started in his basement. So he's allowed it's to been drink. Ah, oh, that's dope. To see from concept to completion, we started small, building a robust game engine, questioning our design assumptions, Rockets confirmed. and prototyping out features, rediscovering what made us fall in love with strategy games in the first place. The end result is Ara, the historical grand strategy game that presents a living world where you can rule how you want to rule and is this exclusive? path to becoming the most prestigious nation know. on the planet. For Aura, no we knew we needed deep systems with outcomes that encourage exploration and give players the power to experiment and make meaningful strategic choices while still having Go agency. You can reread from that as message there. We also wanted to explore more in different parts of history Aura, and give players Aura. from around there the you world the chance to see the game reflect <laughs> their unique perspective and not just ours. That's a clip. <laughs> and finally, we knew that for players to feel the impact of their decisions, they would need to see their choices reflected in the game world itself not just through numbers on a menu. One of the first differences you'll see when you dive into Aura is what we call the living world. It's a procedurally generated alternate earth, bursting with life, an intuitive, authentic, and immersive space, elephants. a blank canvas for players to paint the society of their dreams. 10 chunks out of 10. The living world isn't just a map. It reflects the choices players not. make over the course Ten of the trunks. game. They can see so everything from the settling of the wilderness to cultural influence on the architecture over time to the Are thousands I mean, of citizens living maybe their I'll lives. Maybe I'll try this. I'm not going to lie. I just love Age of Empires. To feel mm -hmm. like they're truly yeah. occupying Have you the played world, Civ? Because it seems people as they thrive a little bit more. No, I downloaded Civ and then, you know, <laughs> life. <laughs> how you want to rule. And no feature better exemplifies this than the prestige system. To win a game of Aura, players will compete with their rivals to build the most influential, impressive, and important nation the world has ever known. Just invent this TikTok, you saw it. prestige, the player's score <laughs> yeah. that proves their worth as just a leader. Just do a dance and you're all good. Yeah, yeah, just lost. players the chance to decide what kind of leader they want to be. Do they want to pursue great works of arts and culture? But can no, I take over right. everybody else's culture and win that way? Scientific advancement. Mm -hmm. The choice Next. is theirs. The American way, right, Crush? The, no the British way. 
Players get to decide. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, to be fair, we did perfect. Who inspired America? Who did Personally, when I play R, we invented America. 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 We invented and then someone in the chat was like, you know that's illegal, right? And I'm like, oh, uh, forget I said that. <laughs> Just Might not have been illegal when it exists in Aura compared yeah. I think to it's not, I think it's very much frowned upon. Crafting plays out I didn't know that at the time. I must have done it, but I did it. So, you know. Who knew crawling along a historical monument was frowned upon? It's giant bricks. It's like... They're giant old bricks, thank it's, you it's very much. It's not like there's security it's guards there or anything. Even yeah. manufacturing the weapons necessary to draft military units. The crafting system in Aura encourages thoughtful, advanced planning. It rewards players who can see the strategic outcome of all their collective decisions, and not just the individual ones. I'm proud of the work that's gone into our simultaneous turn system. Many strategy games have players alternate taking this, turns this does, and reacting this does, this have to moves. In Aura, all yeah. players' actions are yeah, resolved at the same time. This rewards players' do. ability to navigate uncertainty, we could do it. We could do to predict and strategically uh, uh, plan for a, a variety of maybe. scenarios in the moment. Yeah. This system maybe, makes Aura just feel more real. In a typical strategy, like the... game, once your turn is finished, you have to wait for a long time. With simultaneous turns, generally speaking, those times are very low. You get to keep playing the game and stay engaged rather than that. having those periods of downtime. Yeah, yeah. It's one of my biggest issues doing anything. Safe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not easy sifting through all of history and picking what to include. For Aura, we I wanted to that. offer a fresh perspective. So we looked at cultures what was and societies uh, throughout the millennia in Barcelona. the broadest lens possible. Oh, I've probably been there too. Really shines is in our leaders. All right, take away my shine right out. Yeah. I, no, I've been to Barcelona. I hate you drank me to some places. I, I didn't pay attention, mate. come in so many right. different forms. They're thought leaders, scientific and cultural prodigies, and That's many more. Each leader in oh, Aura has is. a number of special abilities determined by their personality traits, as well as a powerful and unique leader. That's a lot of leaders. Informed by their I'm looking for the baddies, Crash. Where they are? With a baddies? Yeah. Roster, we know is that what you're reviewing this game based off? Of? How many baddies out of ten? And even a few that may surprise them with how <laughs> yeah. fun it is mm -hmm. when those leaders are handed the reins of power. Because I had to make sure it wasn't a replica by a giant <laughs> inflatable <laughs> pyramid. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Really Let's do a first look at that reference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, from the can we pause and go back? Did you. she just have a hammock under her desk? Uh, guess what I'm buying tomorrow. That critical what the hell? Player. In the end, we believe this makes for a deeper connection between the players and the game. One of my favorite examples is when we first introduced the concept of dangerous wildlife yeah. to the game. It turns out, in our first iteration, it was maybe a little bit too aggressive or disruptive. We knew we should probably make a change when one of our insiders made a forum post that was just Cougars, 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 I hate Cougars! Someone get these feline demons away from me. I'm happy to report, based on more recent feedback... Me personally, I'd love it if a place, group of Cougars wanted to hit me up. Of yeah. lions I'm sure you call me. call me, ladies, call me. It's been years of hard work to bring you a strategy Somebody experience Somebody put that like out, no send other. it to Haley, please. Just and we're so excited no context needed. <laughs> Not even the cougars part done, ladies. Get their hands on the game later this year. But the launch of Aura is only the beginning. We are going to maintain our insider program after the release date and oh. continue to listen to players and support the game into the future. On behalf of everyone okay. at Oxide Games, thank you for joining us today. We can't I tell you what, you Oxide Aura Games, I think wait, wait considering that didn't give a crap about this beforehand, another fall well game. Done. Okay, so well we've got done. two coming out in fall. Not coming to Xbox. No, PC just Game PC Pass. Game Pass. PC, yeah. PC Game Pass. Mm. Xbox is a platform, guys. We don't just play on consoles anymore. Duh. Okay, here we go. We get half an hour of Indiana Jones. Oh, I hope so. That's what so. I'm saying. It's either a lot of Indiana Jones or I think there's one more. Either or. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Indiana Jones time. Hey, och välkommen till Uppsala Sverige här hos Machine Games. We are really excited to finally be able to share our work on Indiana Jones. And I'm excited to see it, Jack. Since the first film came out, That was his out, name. I'm not just Indiana insulting him. Indiana Jones has always <laughs> represented the ultimate adventure. Even today, it's one of the most iconic franchises in pop culture. 
Super. In this game, you aren't just playing as Indy. You if you're are old. Indiana Jones. You will see okay, through so you his play eyes as Indy. Experience a journey uh, that you'll see through his eyes. <laughs> this person confirmed. <laughs> legacy of Indiana mm -hmm. Jones. When Todd Howard first told us about his vision for the game, we knew we would be a very good fit to help bring it to life. I've wanted to make an Indiana Jones game forever. I'd had this idea for what it would be like and the story, what Indy was going after, what period of his you life know why it was in, what kind of arc Starfield he was going to have. As it was. And as the years went on, I was I thought, who would be like the world? best true, in the true, world true. to make this? And no, it was my friends was at to be Machine empty. Games. True. I can remember pitching Lucasfilm on the game and being, you know, a little bit nervous because, look, it's you know Indiana Jones and their response was just overwhelmingly positive and just that excitement has bled through the whole project and they have just been so trusting and supportive of everything that we want to do with the game it's been a long time i've been a fan of this my whole life show me I the game be more excited to show, show you what me the, the game team here has been up to let's take our first look oh here we go indiana jones game here we go boys here we go <gasps> let me tell you what you oh? are missing <gasps> dr jones the bad guys. So you were playing your pointless game. No. I Whip him. was playing you. <laughs> if you're wondering if maybe you should have. And Jim, is that Harrison Ford? It looks, it looks like, like it, right? Is that Harrison Ford? Did they get Harrison Ford? Standing up here, dead and forgotten in the sands of Africa. No, I am. Oh my god! Hey, you need him! Yeah. Okay. Huh? Did they okay. actually get him? Interesting. Let's wait for a voice. Wait. Interesting. History. Is. Just different ways to interpret the past. I have a, that are a really good voice actor. Thousands of years of humanity's thoughts and beliefs scattered in. Oh, that's him, right? Yeah. Just waiting. I think. Okay. Yo, know I'm seeing this puzzle already. I'm kind of like, oh, Found this game actually might be sick, crush. <laughs> it might be a U-type game. <laughs> you know what? I didn't think I saw about gears puzzles. being popped into places, <laughs> and I'm like, that's a Resident <laughs> Evil thing. That's fixed. There's a whip. There's a whip. There's a whip. Watch me. Oh, that is fully Harrison Ford. It's pretty him. Oh, this. Oh. 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 Look at the Wilhelm scream. Mankind Am I actually excited a for Indiana Jones game? I think you are. If you were to draw a line through these ancient sites around the globe, you get a perfectly aligned circle. Oh, the music. Oh, so it goes into. F okay, I actually like that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's push them Nazis. Did he block a bullet with his weapon? <laughs> Hell yeah, he I'm did. Not crazy that I saw that, right? That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, they got Harrison Ford. Yeah. Harrison Ford was probably excited he could do an Indiana Jones thing without having to actually like, be, do the physical picture of it. <laughs> I'm not saying that as like like a. a no, a, I agree. He's getting like old at this point, right? Protector of the. Oh. Circle Magni. Not the Circle Magni. The great circle. In the Jones the great and the Great Circle. circle. <laughs> What's that? Do you have any idea how old that was? How dare he? Indiana Jones is such an iconic character. I'm so and it means so much to so many people. Everyone here at the studio has their own indie stories and memories. Most of us grew up with his oh, adventures confirmed. and have been oh, fans oh. of the movies and the character for years. <laughs> he's a brilliant archaeologist. He's a charismatic everyman. He's passionate and determined. And for us, he's synonymous with adventure. Now we have the opportunity to tell a new Indiana Jones story for a modern gaming audience. Our game is all about putting you in Indy's shoes, letting you see and feel what he sees and feels. 
For us at Machine Guys, Games, I'm actually excited. Through first person. I'm, I'm speechless right now. To bring you into the rich, exciting, and interactive world we've built. We believe that being up close and personal to the adventure is key, making each action feel like your own. Whether it's I'm looking forward to seeing the, some more of that third person stuff that they do as well. Yeah. That feels more like, I'm, I'm, your knuckles go like this. Even this side. is enough. All yeah. these moments are much more intense so that to me person. feels like, I know it's but probably not the best want you to have those moments. Like, example, but it feels like Destiny where they, you know, where you just switch to third person yeah, like a special yeah, yeah. move. And it feels like things that. like cutscenes and environmental traversal. We pull the camera back for a third there you person. Go, okay. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. I actually really like this. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is set between Raiders of the Lost Ark and the Last Crusade. There you go. When the game begins, the long time is working at Marshall College. He wakes up in the middle of the night to the sounds of a break-in and <gasps> rushes to confront the thief in the <gasps> college museum. Nazis! The mysterious giant of a man makes off with what seems to be a historically insignificant artifact, sparking Indiana's curiosity. Who the hell are you? Following the trail, Indiana heads to the Vatican, hoping to learn why this looks like the big cheese from Resident Evil 4. And discovers that things. Not aren't everything what they is Resident Evil, man. I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's all fixies with this game right now. It's Resident Evil. Let's be honest. honest. Until he has no That's choice fair. but to see it through to the end, whatever the end may be. Imagine if Resident Evil did the third person thing that they're doing. That'd be dope. Next I'm confused. Stop. Need help. Stop. About what? Is it Resident Evil third person? It's first and first. We always right? talk about how clever. We'll get into later. Sharp. That had to be okay. one of our guiding principles when we were thinking I'm about confused. the type of game we were making. <laughs> it wouldn't be in the. What a waste of wine. Using his wits to get through the situation. It was either wine or blood. The most. Do you know? What a waste of I, didn't I really, really didn't think about the puzzles in this game. Yeah, yeah. First. This could be amazing. Mm -hmm. Sure, there will be some obstacles be. that will be more easily overcome with the revolver <laughs> or a gun yeah, taken from a disarmed guard. But I think most of the time you'll have more fun and, to be honest, a more genuine indie experience by finding more clever ways to solve a problem. We always want to be offering more solutions, whether it's trying a different path through the environment. I just got an email confirming her baby's going to be confirmed indie. Observing enemy patrols the name and using them Crazy. Your <laughs> Indiana? Using That's the, the name of the dog. Disposal, like the whip. There's a it's reference an amazing here. global adventure with action propelling you through your journey. We have these really diverse environments for you to explore. Indy's journey will take him to the forgotten temples of Sukhothai, the pyramids of Egypt, the snow-peaked Himalayas, oh, I'm so and beyond. We look carefully at each location and the time period the game is set in, and we're trying to make it as authentic and accurate as possible. We love creating rich, vibrant worlds, and in this game, we also had a goal of making it feel like a true cinematic Indiana Jones adventure. One of the biggest ways to do that is with the music. Did they get John Williams? That's what I want to know. John Williams is the original composer for the indie films, and we're really lucky to have found Gordy okay. Hub, a composer who's been able to capture Williams' essence with his score for The Great Circle. We also take a very movie-like approach to things like cinematics. We're very physical with our production style. We use a lot of stunt actors. So what was that about this being fun? Jesus. <laughs> help us bridge the gap between making a game and making Ooh. a movie. And of course, our characters do a lot to help bring the world to life as well. Next to Indy, Bro, I won't be able to walk for a week if I did that. Where Indy is pursuing answers just for the sake of curiosity, oh. Gina oh. has a personal stake in getting to the bottom of the core mystery. Gina is an investigative reporter who has a lot riding on this adventure. She's been tracking a lead for some time, and now she's found an ally in this determined American professor. Their oh, paths are intertwined, and they'll need each other no. in order to get to the bottom I think of so. this mystery. No, no, yeah, no. I think just a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just spitting out words here. There's a possibility. What do you mean if I keep on? We always love our villains and think we might have found our favorite one yet in Emmerich Voss. He's this intensely psychological man. He's obsessed with the human mind I and I can take manipulating him. it. He's highly intelligent. I can take him. He's a Nazi. And the perfect yeah. boy for Andy. They're both brilliant people, compelled by their passions and obsessions, but driven down wildly different roads. He creeps up on you and gets under your skin like he gets under Indy's skin. Not again. Jim! Not again! Oh, Jim! Oh, Jim! 
Yes. He already punched him once. You see the nose? Jim! One of our models for Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is adventure first. But in every indie adventure, there are always those moments where he finds himself in the action. That's been one of those of balancing acts for us. And we've ended up with this sort of hybrid experience that makes us melee combat, <gasps> stealth, and gunplay. Oh, sorry, Fex. There's going to be stealth. How you approach any given situation uh. is up to you. You may shoot They're gonna, this game is going to have forced patrol, stealth. Or maybe no. uh, you don't think so? No. He just got his dick. Oh, yes. You got in this most iconic oh. tool. Just like That's disrespectful. Movies, one of our <laughs> that is, has been like, to make I know he's a Nazi, though, yeah. but... Can yeah. be disrespectful <laughs> to a Nazi? He's no. no. a Nazi, don't deserve their dicks, Carl. No, I don't think... I thought he kicked him or hit him with the shovel. I want to show, man. I want to show. You can use it as a distraction. Bing! Oh, and that's... Yes, oh. Oh. oh, in the leg. Oh, in the Everything leg. You'd expect Put him in the dick! That's fine. You can whip him, but not cut him. All right? It's different. It's different. Puzzles are a key feature in our game. The spirit of discovery is so important to Indiana Jones. Obviously, there are a handful of puzzles on the main path, but a lot of the puzzles are optional and are just there for the players who want to experience them. Epic traps, small secrets, and hidden puzzles that blend right in with their surroundings. One thing I love about our game is the level of interactivity that we have. We have this world of mystery where anything could potentially hide a secret. The more you look, I love that. the more you'll discover. Interesting. Made me feel like an actual archaeologist rather than just a guy with a whip. That's what oh, I want. You gotta be kidding me. You're gonna die! Run! I want to thank you all for joining us for our big reveal of Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. Machine Games is known for creating these roller coaster experiences mm -hmm. with huge set pieces, surprising twists, and immersive narratives. Now, surprise me the day. It's exciting for us that we have been able to stay so <laughs> true to the Indiana Jones franchise and create such an authentic experience while July. still being able God, to so excited for this. what makes us us. August. We are making a game for everyone, whether you are very familiar with the franchise or not. Because at the heart of Indiana Jones is an incredible adventure, 27. <laughs> and I think that's something everyone wants to be part of. I'm also very excited to announce that Indiana Here we Jones go. Here we and go. the Great Circle will be coming later this what? year. And we can't later this wait year. <gasps> to share more soon. Little toad in the corner there. Mm, less, less dates than I was expecting. Mm. Yeah. Less of things than I was and... expecting. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, it's 2024. Okay. That's a very, like... I found this like year. It's season. happening. Could slip. Could slip. Mm -hmm. Could slip. Mm -hmm. Is that it? I think that's going to be it, right? That's a good way to end it. Oh. Oh. Oh, sizzle oh? real. Sizzle. Nah, just uh... a sizzle real. All right. Okay. Yeah, not bad. Okay. 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 I'm gonna turn the sound down on this one while we chat. But... Mm -hmm. Can I take one? <laughs> Is it? I'm animals, gonna try it. Children but... and game developers. <laughs> I had to escape out. <laughs> uh, our mission here at Ninja Theory is to yeah, craft uh, life changing art with game changing tech. It, do you know what? It did what it said on the tip. Which, yeah. you know, um, could the uh, extra announcement have been something that excited me more? Yes. Mm -hmm. But in the same breath, they showed a game that I didn't have. I didn't, if, you would have, if that game would have came out and they didn't show it here, I wouldn't have gave a crap about it in any yeah. way, shape, or form. And now yeah. I do. So I also overall, think like Yeah, go on, Chris, sorry. I that game also just big for Xbox because it's something people yeah. have been saying for a very long time. Xbox needs more and more. And Xbox has done more, but people keep saying the same thing where it's like, okay, now we even have it at developer direct. How much more do we need to start giving you guys, right? Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I agree. I agree. Um Avowed looked amazing, in my Avowed opinion. I really, I, I really, the only thing I didn't like about Avowed was the actual character models. Yeah. Um, Which, for me, for me. Yeah. In a lot of these type of games, like, I feel like the faces usually are the weakest point of the games. Yeah. Like, there's got to be mean, some even... kind of takeaway from, like, 
for what we've got for these kind of companies, like something's got to give if they're making a massive open world RPG. Yeah, but also, even Starfield faces, I like those. Yeah. Like, they look good in my those, opinion. Are I do Starfield like faces that much better than those faces. I th- the thing I, I would think say, so. I think, I think Marvel's I better. So. But it I could, think it could also just be the art style. I think the faces are better in Starfield, but the motion isn't there. Like this felt like there was a bit more motion to the characters that you're speaking to. Mm, I disagree. I'll I don't know. I didn't see them like that far apart. Starfield in this game. I okay. thought they were relatively like similar personally. Um. um yeah. No. Like, overall, I'm. I'm. The the developer direct as a whole, I think, is a great. Um. Is a great showing for Xbox. Mm-hmm. If I'm Agreed. being honest, I, I think. I think they've got the pacing down to a T. They present it very well. Um, yeah, I'm 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 quite impressed with that. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm 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 happy, but I'm also a little bit let down that we didn't get more concrete dates. Yeah, yeah. I, um, we we got a lot of like it's definitely happening this year. But again, we've seen games slip in the past. I, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Let's let's, let's not throw all right. Let's take away definitely. Yeah. All right, they yeah. are <laughs> slated for. The, they are all slated yeah. for this year, uh, which is yeah. what I wanted. I wanted them to come out and say, yeah, all of these games that we're showing are scheduled to be out this year. Yeah. Um, the fact that this is the very first time we've seen Indiana Jones gameplay and, and they feel confident enough to say, yeah, we're aiming for this year. Mm-hmm. is a good sign for me uh, i mean just going through i mean tricks has been really nice in posting everything we got here so we've got yeah. uh avowed from obsidian coming fall 2024 yep. uh send saga hellblade 2 was the only thing we got a definitive date which is may which is actually 21st. a lot sooner than i expected yeah so may 21st mm-hmm. uh then the surprise hit of the day well surprise of the day was visions of manam from square enix um yep, yep. so summer 2024 uh, Ara from Oxide in fall 2024. Uh, again, uh, Indiana Jones also 2024. Um, yeah. Honestly, personally, I think this is a pretty good way to start the year for me. It's what I wanted. It's like they've given us four games, now five with um, uh, Square Enix as well and Visions of Mana. Uh, they've given us five solid AAA titles that are coming this year. Uh, given us date ranges for all of them. Uh, one of them definite date, which again, like I said, we were talking about it on the podcast uh, that I did not expect this. I expected um, Sar- Send You a Saga to be like the end of the year game. So the fact that we're getting that in May is uh, pretty exciting for me. Yeah, I, I think the important part is think about it this way, right? Avowed Game Pass, Send You a Saga Game Pass, Vision mm-hmm. of Manor, no, that, that wasn't Game Pass. Um, you've got Aura Game Pass, Indiana Jones Game Pass. Mm-hmm. Like you've got a lot of bang for. You. If everything releases this year, you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah. Um, from a first party front from Xbox, which is huge. Like mm-hmm. that, that cannot that cannot be overstated. How big that is. Um, from Xbox to keep delivering high quality AAA and keyword there AAA um experiences on the platform. Like whether conversations to be had, obviously about whether or not they're going to come to other platforms, whatever. Game by the looks of things, Game Pass isn't. So, yeah, the everyday consumer is getting for what we hope. Again, we haven't played the games yet; we don't actually mm-hmm. know. But for we hope, fantastic experiences. Yeah, and that's and that's huge. And uh, and from what I've seen so far from Hellblade, um, and Indie. I would say of those two, I expect them both to do very, very, very well. Yeah. Um, because it's Obsidian, I expect Avowed to be good, but I liked what we saw today from an environment perspective. Gameplay-wise, I liked it. I didn't love it. Okay. Yeah, um, combat, the combat yeah. looked a little bit on the slower side. Yes, I, I think agree. that was more so hey, here's all the cool stuff we can do instead of like, here's a glimpse of like fluid combat in motion, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. that's yeah. generally what happens in most of the showcases like this, where they're not trying to show you the gameplay, how it will look, but the gameplay and all the things you can do. Right? Yeah, so this was like kind of, yeah, it is exactly what this kind of thing is for. It's to showcase what is in the game, not to showcase how a 
general player will play it. So it's like, it is showing off like, here's the unique elements that you can use in combat. So you could use two wands. You could use a wand and a sword. You can have a yeah. wand and a shield. Yeah. Uh, basically, I'm going to be running around with a wand. I'm just putting it out there. Um, but yeah, so I think, yeah, combat looked a bit slower, but I think that was more just a methodical, like, display approach rather than the actual, what it will play like in first hand. Um, At the end of the day, though, we can only go off of what we're seeing, right? Yeah, like, true. That is, that's all we can go off is what they've shown. Yeah. And I, I'm definitely with Crash here, where I do think it was a little bit slow oh. for my liking. Okay. It was definitely a little bit slow, but I also think when you're looking at most first-person games of this type, namely like Skyrim, I don't think it's performing slower than Skyrim is realistically, yeah. in my memory of playing Skyrim, really. Yeah, I mean, again, it's hard because I'm I'm kind of new to these these type of experiences, to be honest with you. So yeah. when I'm looking at it, I'm not really looking at its gameplay as such. I am looking at the things they showed here, which is yeah. environments and world building and storytelling and things like mm -hmm. that. Um, and graphics. Again, I'm I'm a big I am one of the people that you know people are like oh, you know you can't play graf graphics, but well, I like good graphics, and yeah. that that's something that I think the world looked very well, but um, yeah, I wasn't wasn't blown away by. Uh, the character models personally but again it's a huge game i'm sure there's going to be a, a a plethora of various types of characters that we're going to see in this world and i'm sure some of them will look better than others so yeah, yeah. um i am i am interested then, to see if they're going to do the starfield thing of just like it's using the in-game character builder to build the rest of the characters so that's why it doesn't look as graphically intense as some of them are uh, some other yeah. rpgs are sorry okay yeah maybe maybe we'll guess we'll wait and find that right mm -hmm. yeah um but yeah i mean overall good developer direct happy with xbox so far um room for improvement there's still more there's still more to come and more that i expect from xbox is what i will say that is the, when, the one thing that i will say from their perspective at the end of the day is that there's more to come so yeah yeah again we look at this this is like five triple a titles all announced at the beginning of the year we've got a year ahead of us i mean just in this month alone we've got two huge massive rpgs coming to game pass uh from third party studios that they're working with uh we know there's a ton of other stuff coming to game pass throughout the year uh there always yeah. is um honestly i i'm not worried right now i'm excited for the future of xbox this year i think these five games alone uh have got me hyped for what's to come uh, and yeah, I can't wait to see what else gets announced throughout the year. Because we know that, again, when it comes to the key freeze and or the uh, Summer Game Fest and things like that, we're going to get a ton of other announcements around that. Uh, again, we've still got a ton of games we don't know anything about yet. Um, so like you said, we were talking about it before we started. There's uh, State of Decay we haven't heard anything yep. from. Uh, nothing from the Coalition yet. So we don't know what's happening with Gears uh, or whatever else they may be working on. Uh, so yeah, so there's still plenty of studios that we don't know anything about yet. Uh, and so I'm very excited to see what they are working on in the future. Uh, and I think this is going to be the like the year that we get those announcements, I think. I think this mm, is like... I've so this begin <laughs> Yeah, but I, I feel like this being the big, like, here's the tentpole games for the rest of the year that you know about right at the beginning. Then we can come halfway through the year and drop a couple of big announcements for you. I don't know. I don't think this, for me personally, I don't think this changes my viewpoint on Xbox for the rest of the year because we got one solid release date. Um, I, I think I mean, that's kind I, of I my problem with, with it. I, I think not it's saying that it was of... bad. I'm not saying the developer direct was bad or anything. I think it was good. They showcased a lot of the games. I think only having one release date for me mm -hmm. kind of just doesn't really add more hype into the year for Xbox for me. That's fair. I think it's it's the the big thing is yeah again i've been saying it for for years now right with xbox is put up or shut up right and mm -hmm. i think the one thing that I, if we're if i'm gonna be a little bit negative the one thing i was expecting was release dates for everything i was expecting every single thing that was shown here today was um release dates uh, i got jojo saying in chat apparently it's trey baker playing indie so oh. not harrison ford ford okay Cool. doesn't surprise me no doesn't surprise me interesting 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 decision i'm guessing harrison Ford was too expensive yeah i mean yeah <laughs> i already said no <laughs> yeah it, probably yeah. both because <laughs> you, you have to get his permission for the face you can't true i'd imagine you'd have to get his permission for the face unless that's, that's what i was gonna say unless that's a lucasfilm agreement that they they can use his likeness 
for Indiana Jones? I wouldn't be surprised. That's a possibility. This is a Disney well. thing, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, would you? Would, I'm sure they would if have you're asked. Disney, if okay. and, uh, yeah, I was going to say, if you're Disney and you have that relationship with Harrison Ford, would you just be like, hey, we're not even going to bother asking or getting his blessing on it? We're just no, going to give that right away. No. I'm sure a conversation was had, and I'm, yeah. I'm sure I'm sure there was some money <laughs> um, <Yeah. laughs> exchanged. But we'll go into more details about this. Well, we will shoot a... Um, We've already recorded my Xbox and the Extra. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll wait a day for some more information to come out so we've got all the information we need um, from today's Developer Direct. And then we will uh, record a little something and include it on the uh, Extra as we go along. Anyone got anything to add before we get out of here, guys? Uh, um, no. Mo Moody just added in the chat. Hi, Moody, first of all. Uh, hey. By law, they have to ask if they can use his likeness. Oh, well, so, there you go. Okay. Well, there you go. Curtis. There you go. It's interesting because I'm, I don't know if that's... I'm not calling you a liar or anything, Moody. I know actresses who have signed their likeness away for other projects and they've popped up in things and they've been like, I didn't even know. So, mm. interesting. That's, I, I, that I guess might just it would be come... a bad reading of their contract, maybe. Yeah, but then that could be the same with this, right? Yeah. Possibly. So, yeah. but yeah. Anyway... Guys, I appreciate everybody who watched. Make sure if you are not liked um, the video over on the YouTube channel, you hit the like button. Consider becoming a YouTube member. We have got emotes over there. And if you're over on Twitch, be sure to hit the like, uh, follow button. And if you are not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Use your Twitch Prime. Don't let Amazon take that money. They're cutting jobs. So you might as well give us some of their money anyway as we're going yeah. for it. Um, we are working on some new emotes because our emotes got denied over there. I do apologize for that um but we'll consider um i am already reached out to the artist to see if we can get some changes made to the emotes and we'll go forward from there but yeah guys appreciate you guys joining me for this reaction um we should have clips up of each reaction on the youtube channel as quickly as possible depending on what's going on in people's lives but we will work on that and also go follow us on tiktok because we're going to try and do some bits over there as well um i'm, I'm being told whispered and Instagram and like Instagram, Instagram from Haley. I think Haley's agreed to start start doing our Instagram, Instagram for us. So, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, we should have content going everywhere. A big shout out to Virtual Tricks. Before we got in the channel today, I saw Virtual yeah. Tricks sorting out all of the uh, commands. Um, so big, 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 big shout out to our mod Virtual Tricks. She's amazing, mm. and uh, we do appreciate her. But She's until next time, guys, we will love you, leave you, and see you all later. New my Xbox and me out Friday. My Xbox and me extra out Sunday. Boys! Bye.